Good morning, afternoon or evening, my name is Lewis Lepton and welcome to another Open Frameworks tutorial. Today we are actually going to get into Open Frameworks and what we are going to do today is to load in a image. We're going to also play with the width and height location of it, the X and Y, and then also play with the width and height of the actual picture itself, whether it's bigger, smaller and all that sort of business. But there are two things that we need before we actually get this tutorial underway. The first of, first thing that we need is a picture, and I here, have here a pixel picture of myself that I use on all my social stuff, and we also need to make a project. Now remember we had our project generator made and we also put it in our dock in the last tutorial. So we'll just start that up, and here we go. So we don't need any of the add-ons, we don't need any of those at all, and OSX is the platform we are on. So we just click Create and Open, and we should save it in, remember our tiers thing with Open Frameworks? This is the first tier, second tier, and we put all of our folders and fi uh, folder project folders in the second tier. So I'll just name this, 002, image loading. You can name this whatever you want to, but this is just because I need it for my own sort of, uh, uh, to keep track with what I'm actually doing with these tutorials. So click save, and that should start up Xcode automatically. Cool, and we can actually exit out of Project Generator. Now before we get into using Open Frameworks in Xcode, we need to do, let's look at three things. First of all, we need to change this from this little housing thing to the debug. I don't know why it changes this build uh, this build status to actually be like that. It should actually just be like this automatically. But just double check that. And secondly, we need to go into Finder and we we need to actually put this picture into our project. We don't import it into Xcode, but we actually put it into our project file or into our folder. So if we go back to our project folder that we created, in here we've got a folder called bin, and in here called data. Now data is our ground zero for reading files. This is where we will put in our videos, our pictures, um, fonts, and things like this. And all that we need to do when we need to read in a file is that we just type in the file name with the extension. So if we actually put in a folder, say, Called folder, we would actually have to type in folder slash file name dot, uh, uh, dot you know extension, but we don't need to do that. So we can just get rid, and drag in. Fantastic. So that's what we need to do for reading files in Open Frameworks. We will in future projects do where uh, do ones where we will read uh, files from different locations, but for now, for a while, it's just going to be like this. So let's go back to Xcode. Let's just expand all this. I don't know why it doesn't remember any of my settings either. And there is one thing that we're going to look at before we get deep into Open Frameworks now. Now, in Open Frameworks, in a brand new file you or brand new project, you always come with three files. You come with a main.cpp, of.cpp, of app .cpp and ofapp.h. ofapp.cpp and ofapp.h are things that they they talk to each other. It's a header, it's a header class and just a normal uh, just a normal CPP file which reads from the header. It's sort of a, the header file is like the setup file. You know, it just sets up everything that you will need or will be using in the actual main file. But there's this main.cpp file, and this actually holds your width and height of your um, window and also to say whether your window will be as just a window or whether it will be full screen. So you can actually check this if you want to make sure I spell that correctly but you can run this and this will actually run in full screen now and you can change the width and the height but just you know just have a bit of fun and then just see how Open Frameworks works really. So without further ado let's get into the ofapp.cpp and ofapp.h. Right, so first of all, I'm just going to say that we won't need actually any of these things. These are pretty much functions that help us do things a lot easier in Open Frameworks, say draw, update, key press, key released, etc. If we were having to make those ourselves in C++, it would be very 
long. You know, this is why Open Frameworks is really good. It actually cuts out a lot of the bump that we actually don't need. And you should actually get rid of them in this .cpp as well, because since it reads everything from the header, you'll just get errors if it's not there in the .cpp. Okay, so what we are going to do is load in an image and Open Frameworks already comes in with an image loader class called OF image. So we just type in OF image, if I can even spell properly, OF image, and we will call this image. And that's it with semicolon at the end. And that's it. That's all we need for our sort of setup of, uh, you know, to, 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 to make our sort of new function available. Now in setup in the OF app.cpp, we type in image dot load. And this is the thing, this is the difference between, say, the deprecated versions that will be coming up to, 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 to the uh, GitHub version now. It's that the public releases have different load functions, say, load image, load video, load sound. But in the newer GitHub version and the, the newer public release version that will come out, they're actually getting rid of that load sound, load image, load video. So it will all just be now load, which is a lot easier. So just remember that if, if you don't know why it's not there, just try just load or even load image, depending on which version you're using. OK, so we've got image.load and we need in our brackets and then in our quotation marks, we need to actually type in the uh, the, the file name, so it was pixel picture dot ping, and this is a 600 by 600 picture. Okay, and we don't need to do update just now, and we just need to type in in the draw function image dot draw brackets, and then in here we will put in our x and y coordinates. So we'll just put for the time being 0, 0, and this will actually draw our picture in the top left hand corner in a 600 by 600 picture. Okay, there it is. But how do you need to actually move it? Very, very simple. You actually just need to change these numbers. And draw has four that you can actually put in. X and Y coordinates, and then the width and height of the actual picture itself. So we can change this to say 500, then 30. So it'll be 500 to the right and 30 down. There we go. And so on and so forth. But what if you need it in the middle? Open Frameworks already comes with an awesome function called OF get width and OF get height. And what this does is this actually reads the width and the height of the window that you've got. So it reads that 1024768 from the main.cpp here, or whichever you've actually red and then oops we'll actually change it so of get width of get height okay so that will read the window um the the window resolution the x and y of what's already set but this will actually draw it but it will not draw it on inside the window it will draw it outside of the window because remember it's reading those numbers so it will actually be all the way at the bottom here. It's still there, but it's all the way over here. So how do we rectify this? So we need to actually, so we've read in that 1024 and the uh, 768, but we actually need to divide it by two. And this still will not perfectly do it, but this will actually make the top left corner of the picture be directly in the middle. Remember, it was a bit like the zero, zero setting that we had right from the start of the uh, image.draw. So when we run, it will appear dead center, the left-hand corner. There we go. So all that we need to do is actually now take away 300 from the picture, because remember, it's 600 by 600. So we do 300 and then do 300. We wouldn't do minus 600 because that would be taking away the picture again. So that will actually just leave us with 0, 0 again. OK, there it is, directly in the middle. So that's how you can deal with the location of where your picture is. So now let's deal with the size of your picture. Now, as I said before, you've got two extra arguments that you get to put into the image.draw and this would be the x, uh, the width and height of your actual picture itself. So now we can just say put in 100 
and 100. This won't be in the center anymore because we don't have, we haven't changed the 300 and 300 here, but it will actually show the X and Y working properly, or the width and height. There we go. So it's 100 by 100 now. So if we change this to say minus 50, and this to minus 50, remember it's just half of the picture. There we go. So that's directly in the center. So then, there, that's image.draw, or the image, OF image, in really, really simple way. You can, if you want to, take this and then just start to make your own, really. Just have a bit of a play with the OF image. And if you wanted to use the exact same image, all that you would do, say in the header file, is OF image, and then just make image 2. And then in the setup, you would do image 2.load brackets and in the quotation marks so pixel picture dot ping oops no, colon ping comma ping sorry and then do image two dot draw and then do that at zero zero and we'll just uh, make that say I don't know uh, fifty by fifty So now we'll have a second image now, which is at 0, 0, and is at 50, 50, 50 height and 50 width. So there you go. That was image loading in Open Frameworks. Well, I'm Lewis Lepton, and I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on image loading in Open Frameworks. Bye-bye.